Assalamu alaikum everyone. The more I see the market, um, you know, behavior right now, the more I start to believe that November is about to be super, super bullish in crypto. Now, I am on a mission to go to 100,000 subs and you guys have been listening to me. So the fact that I've been helping you with Pepe updates day in and day out with uh, a lot of hard work behind the scenes, all I want you to do is click on subscribe. That's all. Click the subscribe. I want to get to 100K and that's pretty much how you can support me. Pretty simple, isn't it? So right now, this is a morning star that I do believe, you know, uh, Pepe is printing out on this monthly time frame. And I've talked about this previously. So I want to show you something on Google. What I just showed you is this right here. So if you look at this image, you can see that that's the red, that's the doji, and this is the green. And what happens after that is a push to the upside. So basically, there are some few principles. First of all, you need a downtrend. And then you need the candle to be formed in a downtrend so this candle indicates that it's time to reverse okay so if you went in a downtrend it's time to reverse for an uptrend basically right so from here we may see november being bullish at least the next candle of november is going to be green so if i go back here you do have a downtrend isn't it and you do have the morning star and you're looking for that green candle next month as well and that's why in yesterday's video i was explaining on the daily that it could be possible that pepe actually comes above and break above and retest and also shoot up to twenty thousand, which is going to be a 98 percent pump to the upside right now still issue is you have not really broken above here but you can actually break above and one more thing is that i do believe you are looking at least on the four hour time frame to take this stop that wick is always probably going to be hunted i said this yet in yesterday's video two days ago as well i'm saying it again it's just above about time that this top loss are pretty much going to be taken away and your main resistance is up here and not really here so when you do get up here take that stop loss as well we're going to see we may get a fake rejection as well so what is a fake rejection when you zoom out the the history says that this is a trend and when you touch it you went down you touch it you went down you touch it again and then you went down so by default based on the previous data you're going to tell yourself okay let's go up here and let's open up a short position because we're about to drop to the downside now considering that the market is pretty good bitcoin is breaking out and a lot of altcoins are also breaking out pepe is the one that has not really break out so there are chances for pepe to actually break above and what you do is you actually come up here and get rejected on purpose get manipulation and start to drop a little bit to the downside and people think that yes it's getting rejected and all of a sudden boom you push up one example I'm going to show you is by send so send did a fake uh fake breakout so this is the pattern of send i do hope if the uh, trend line loads up so what happened here if i show you send this is what this was your first touch move down second touch move down and everyone was waiting for that rejection here so you got the rejection and if i zoom in again you start to go to the downside yes the market is dumping when you thought it's dumping you actually broke to the upside that's a fake breakout another one is probably on polka dot as well so polka dot is a trade that i took on discord for free if you want to take it you can take it yet yesterday i gave a free call on my discord so if i go back into the discord here uh, i said that you know what Polkadot may fly to 4.98 for a 15 percent move and this was absolutely free and uh, if you want a premium call Again, today's the last day for you to join and also the last day for you to know the coins, three coins that can give you a 2x in the next six months. Today is the last day for November and November may be good as well. So this is another freebie. Polkadot is looking for that move to the upside. But what I want to say is Polkadot had this one rejection here, move down, one rejection there, move down. Another rejection here, move to the downside, and another push to the upside. And this was a descending broadening wedge, and I took this trade thinking it's going to go to the upside. So <clears throat> comparing all of these things with Pepe, that's exactly what Pepe may be looking to do as well. So you have that trend line that I've just showed you that comes like this, 
and you go up to that trend line, you maybe touch the trend line, you even start to make a false move down, and all of a sudden, you just break and push to the upside. So let's see what happens, and that's it for this update on PayPay. I'm going to see you the next one, Hello, office.